Good evening guys, my name is Tommy and welcome to Northern Ear Reactions. This is the very start of a brand new themed week and this week we're going to be listening to Dream Theatre and their album Metropolis Part 2. So last week I told you guys that I was planning on doing a themed week and asked you to get your suggestions across for any specific bands or genres or albums that you wanted me to listen to. All those suggestions went over into the Discord and the guys in the Discord got a chance to vote on which one they'd like to see. And the winner was Metropolis Part 2 by Dream Theatre. So we are going to spread the album over the next six days and we will finish off Dream Theatre Week on Sunday with the song Metropolis Part 1. So I've been given a very handy little uh, spreadsheet. You're probably not going to be able to see that. Uh, but he's basically suggested how we could split the week up day by day. So tonight we are going to be listening to track 1, 2 and 3 off the album which is a total length of about 11 minutes tomorrow we're going to be doing track four and five which is uh, eight minutes uh, wednesday we're going to be doing track six and track seven which is a little bit longer at 17 minutes um, on thursday we'll just be doing track eight because that's a bit of a long one that's 13 minutes long on friday we'll be doing nine ten and eleven which is again 17 minutes and then we're going to finish off the album on saturday with track number 12. So, you know, I've had very little exposure to Dream Theatre. I think I've listened to three songs by them now. The Glass Prison, Change of Seasons, Count of Tuscany. And, you know, they do have this common recurring theme of very tight, fast, technical guitars, which I love. Big, big changes in the sound, which always capture my interest. So if any of those are to go by, then I'm in for a treat this week. So shall we kick off? Tracks 1, 2 and 3 of Metropolis Part 2. Uh, let me just get the video up for you. And uh, let's make sure that you can see what I'm going to see. Now this apparently does have lyrics. So I don't need to worry about getting the lyrics up. So tracks 1, 2 and 3. I will see you in a short while. Let's go. Close your eyes and begin to relax. Take a deep breath and let it out slowly. Concentrate on your breathing. With each breath you become more relaxed. Imagine a brilliant white light above you. Focus in on this light as it flows through your body. Allow yourself to drift off as you fall deeper and deeper into a more relaxed state of mind. Now as I count back from 10 to 1 you will feel more peaceful and calm. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You will enter a safe place where nothing can harm you. 5, 4, 3, 2. If at any time you need to come back, all you must do is open your eyes. One. Safe in the light that surrounds me. Of the fear and the pain My subconscious mind Starts spinning through time To rejoin the past once again Nothing seems real I'm starting to feel Lost in the haze of a dream As I draw near, the scene becomes clear, like watching my life on a screen. Hello, Victoria, so glad to see you, my friend.
love that.
And that is it by the looks of it. They are the first three tracks of Metropolis Part 2. I'm sorry that we had to get stopped by a few adverts along the way. Um, I need to look at some kind of ad blocker or something. Um, but what an interesting first three songs there are. I noticed from the lyrics that there's characters. And um, I am aware that those of you that listened to this direct from a CD or vinyl or MP3 or whatever, you wouldn't have had that help to know that there's different characters. So you'll have to forgive me for the video providing me with that. But I'm intrigued as to what the story is. Now, Omar did tell me that there is a story on this album, but um, obviously I've not had a look into what the story is. But we've seen the first track, which was essentially uh, a therapist, hypnotherapist, um, taking him back in time. Uh, the track itself is called Regression. Um, and he's basically saying in the in the lyrics that that's what he's doing. He's he's going back to a time that he uh, that, that he once knew, and he finishes it off with "Hello Victoria, it's good to meet my friend again." So we know that Victoria is acquainted to Nicholas um, at some point because he's just spoken to her or internally spoken to her. And track two is called "Overture 1928," and um, the things that were going through my mind at the time were, is this the year that the story is set when he goes back in time? Um, is it set in 1928? And is the music telling a story of when Nicholas met Victoria? Maybe. I was wondering it at the time. I was looking out for little clues that might have pointed in that direction. So I was looking for, you know, was there any elements of duality in there? Was there any kind of um, coming together of two guitar parts or any kind of harmonization or anything basically that symbolized two entities coming together? And there were a few moments where I thought, oh, is that it? Is, could that be it? But I don't know whether I was just clutching at straws or not. But out of the three tracks that I've heard, track two is the one that I've probably got the least grasp on. And maybe that's just simply because there's no lyrics for me to cling on to. Um, but yeah, then it followed on to track three, which was called A Strange Deja Vu, which looking at the track listing, track three was actually a part B to track two. Um, so yeah, that was moving us on to track three. It's almost like Nicholas landing in the past. Now he's done his regression. It finished off him mentally traveling back in time and track two started with him arriving in the past. And he said that he's drawn to this house, he's drawn to a certain room at the top of the stairs, and when he gets there he sees a girl staring in the mirror. Um, we learn that the girl is Victoria, and I'm a bit confused by what she said. I'm not 100% sure I actually remember what she said, but basically she said something that was then repeated later on. She said something, it's tearing my heart in two. Um, she says that she's been looking for the person and the second half of track two is Nicholas back in the present state it looks like or it sounds like he's left his therapy session and he's back in the city and I think he's just wondering who this Victoria is who that person is but interestingly he repeats the same um, it's tearing my heart in two um, you've got the same vocalization as well. So at that point in the previous one, uh, at that point in the past, you've got the double vocals. And at the same point in the present, you've got the double vocals, which is making me think that Nicholas is experiencing the same thoughts or feelings as Victoria. The fact that it's called Strange Deja Vu and that Nicholas acknowledges that it's a deja vu in that third track makes me think... Nicholas is feeling the same feelings as what Victoria is. But I don't know why at this moment in time. And I'm hoping that other tracks will lead me to the answer to that. At the minute, the things that are popping through my head is, is this someone that Nicholas helped? Is this a girl from his past that Nicholas helped? Um, is this... Um, 
family member, but then again, he did refer to her as a as a friend, so I'm not sure. Um, it might be a little bit out there, but I'm thinking, is Nicholas Victoria? And the only reason why I'm thinking that is that would explain why there's a connection between the two, why they're feeling the same things. He does he does say as well that the the mirror shattered the girl, so I don't know whether that self image broke her and she decided to change. Um. You know, that's completely clutching at straws. I could be way off the mark there, but that's just a thought that's going through my head. Um, I don't think it's... I don't get any indication that there's any kind of drugs or depression or anything like that. The, 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 the feeling that I've got is that there is this anchor for Nicholas to the past. And for some reason, it revolves around Victoria. And there's a connection to them both feeling the same thing or Nicholas remembering how someone felt in the past and feeling it again in the present. So I'm hoping the rest of the week tells me what the story is. Um, please though, here's my beg of you. I know that we're going to be doing this pretty much track by track over the next six days. Please don't leave in the comments what the story is. Don't leave any spoilers, um, because that would um, that would that would ruin it. And you know, I'm gonna have to be really careful not to read anything just in case anyone does leave anything in the comments. But I think that's the main thing for me this week. I'm not, I, of course, I am listening to the music, and there's some great music. The chords in track one were fantastic. I loved how the chords were linked together by. Um, semitone runs we had a lot of the bass note rundowns so for example if i was to uh, go from g to e minor for example i'm not saying that they were the chords used but you would do g g with an f sharp bass and then you'd go into e minor so it's kind of links two chords together quite nicely it creates a nice little bit of tension so i really enjoyed that i enjoyed the the sound of the guitars in track two um track three was a little bit more upbeat um, but a little bit darker as well, a little bit faster. So I think we are in good stead to move on to track four and five tomorrow. Um, I'm really intrigued. I think the main thing for me this week is to figure out the story and what the album is about rather than focus on the music. Um, but yeah, that was track one, two and three of Metropolis part two. Come back tomorrow for track four and five. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens in the next two songs. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. I'm going to make a little bit of a playlist of this album so that you can follow it um, from start to finish. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you like this reaction. If you have, then stick with me for the rest of the week and consider subscribing to the channel. And until tomorrow, have a good night. Stay safe, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.